this point, the Soyuz spacecraft was descending at a rate of just about 7.2 meters per second. And once there, you can see the soft landing rockets fire on just about two seconds before landing, uh, slowing it to a final descent rate of just 0.8 meters while right above the ground. And there you have it. Once they got a, a little bit closer look, they were able to discern that... Hey, I'm standing. I'm ready. Attention. Careful. Hello. Welcome back. Who is there? How are you? Great? That's good. Our first look at the returned crew. Roman Romanenko there in the center seat. Chris Hadfield to his left and Tom Marshburn to the right. Grigorievich, watch out. Okay, got him, I got him. Careful, turn him over. Turn him over, careful. Okay, got him. So he's Commander Roman Romanenko being the first one extracted from this capsule. And there we have uh, Soyuz Commander Roman Romanenko of the Russian Space Agency already been extracted from the craft. There we go. Second crew member out of the Soyuz craft, NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn. Uh, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield. I stay with this. Uh, you'll hear them comment on the weather quite a bit as the uh, weather in Kazakhstan can be uh, quite unpleasant uh, during certain times of the year. Meanwhile, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield uh, being lowered into his seat now after being extracted. Yeah. It's not quite the SLF though. Nice to yeah, that's Doing pretty well. All right, and uh, it's our understanding that next the crew will be moving on to the medical tent and then uh, back on to Karaganda. Uh, looking forward to that welcoming ceremony. Yeah, so we're going to head out toward Karaganda here uh, shortly. There was 12 helicopters.